knows how enthusiastic high school sports fans can be. But at one area game, it wasn't the passes being thrown that caught people's attention. It was the fists. This fight broke out in the stands of the MacArthur Eisenhower football game in Decatur. As a result, six students were expelled, the result of the district's zero tolerance policy on violence. But the school board's decision caught the attention of Reverend Jesse Jackson of the Rainbow Push Coalition in Chicago. Jackson said the students received an overly harsh punishment because they were black, setting off a storm of protests and Jackson's arrest. WCIA had team coverage from Jennifer Hendricks and Andy Sachs. It's from the vault, 1999. The day started with only a promise from Reverend Jesse Jackson that he would meet with Decatur School Administrators, and if he didn't like the outcome of that meeting, he'd be back to Eisenhower High School. But this time, Jackson said he'd take action. We will go, I mean, to Eisenhower, Eisenhower High. Uh, right now. Decatur School Board President Jackie Getter and School Superintendent Ken Arndt, along with school attorneys, met with Jackson for a couple of hours this morning. There was talk of letting one of the expelled students in school in January, but apparently it wasn't enough. When the meeting broke up, Jackson met with parents of the seven expelled students and then came back to Eisenhower High School. Keep hope alive. Jackson met the crowd's approval when he was arrested and taken to jail for entering onto school property. Although I'm not from the era of the 60s, it mirrored that of what I've seen and witnessed on television growing up. The van carrying Reverend Jackson pulled into the back of the jail. A small crowd gathered to watch. Let the children in. Let the Reverend out. But soon the crowd got bigger and louder. Let the Reverend out. We want the kids back to school, all of them. The penalty is too severe for the situation, I think. You know, it's nothing but a fight. A fight that's now closed down another street and created another rally. I think that Reverend Jackson is prepared to go to distance on this issue. Uh, it's much bigger than the seven children here. At this very moment, it's as big as 200 protesters. And it's big enough that Decatur police shut everyone out of the building. Can, can I have one moment with you? Including Jackson's closest advisor. I just want to talk to the officer in charge. And standing just outside the fray, a brave soul, a single supporter of the school board. It's sad that I'm considered racist because I'm standing here in support of the school board. I'm not. I'm the farthest thing from a racist, but this has just become an issue of race. Race got a whole bunch to do with it. But black or white, one thing's assured. As long as the students are out of school, there will be more impromptu rallies as part of this massive, organized effort to get seven Decatur students back into the classroom. Let the children in. Let the children in. Amazing video there. One of the young men who was expelled in that instant actually went on years later to become a member of the Decatur School Board.